The problem of GMC is dire. I sympathize with the current administration. They have a big, big problem. You know, the Gen, Gen Z problem is not over yet. It's just a lull before another storm. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that. Calm before the storm. Yes. Tell me something, Lee. Mm. When you look at what happened in the last month, yes, with the demonstrations, the Gen Zs, and uh, everything that's happened, mm -hmm. in that state house, mm -hmm. if you were there, mm -hmm. what would you have done? Um, if you are in Kenya then, during the time of Daniel Arab Moy, mm. almost twice a week, Mr. Moy was calling university students every week, every, every other day, to Kambanet Gardens, if it was Egerton, to, and talk to them. Tell them about our problems, what he expected them to do, and why he was doing what he was doing. And every trip we used to take with us, Malay, uh, there's a Malaysia, New York, a few students mm. with us, so that they could see what is happening. Now, the problem uh, with us, and uh, I do not know what the government is going to do. The problem of Gen C is dire. And the biggest problem we have, as I have said earlier, is our system of education. Mm. There is nothing wrong with reading history, geography and such like. But imagine in the rural areas or everywhere in Kenya, we got thousands of MCAs, members of county assembly. Mm. All of them have got cars. They have got refrigerators television sets, modern toilets, mobile phones, all those need repair. We need the plumbers. I run a resort called Chenilom Resort. I build, every, I build, I repair, I extend. Do I have a need for a geographer, for a zoologist, mm -hmm. for a historian? No. What do I have to do with the first Kondagama? Marco Polo, Walter Raleigh, Fandina de Magellan, mm. Christopher Columbus. I have nothing to do with them. I need somebody who has got to repair my refrigerator. I need somebody who has got to repair my car. I need somebody who has got to change my lock if I lose my key. Mm. I need somebody who can even actually repair my, my shoes if I need to. If the system of education does not change, we don't have a panacea for this problem. Mm. And remember, we have university graduates who left the campus 15 years ago. No job. To this day? To this day. And they are very angry. They are very angry. Karl Marx, what did he say? Mm. Tell the masses. Mm -hmm. You have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Except your chains. Correct. You can change that statement and say, you have nothing to lose except your miserable life. Mm. If your life is abandoned to you, to hell with it. I sympathize with the current administration. They have a big, big problem. You know, the Gen, Gen Z problem is not over yet. It's just a lull before another storm. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that. Calm before the storm. Yes. It's a problem. But I blame the system of education because, you see, um, and many people, you know, the GNC is that because they haven't got the nerve and the energy yeah. 
you know, to shout. Yeah. People in the rural areas are not happy. You find that people cannot take their children to school. I see children at 8 a.m. when I'm, I'm doing my morning walk. Mm. I ask them, well, what are you doing? I was in school, I was told to go back home. Why? I do not have a hundred shillings. Oh. A hundred shillings. No. Yeah, it's a big problem. Another thing, um, people are getting annoyed. It's angry culture. The president, uh, William Ruto, has got good intentions about fertilizer. I stay in the rural areas. I move quite a lot. For the last 12 years, or 18 years, I've been in the field. I have never seen an agricultural officer. It is easier to see a locomotive driver. It is easier to see the captain of a moving vessel, of a ship, <laughs> from, yeah, than to see an agricultural officer. You've never seen one? I have never seen one. So what is the use of fertilizer if nobody is telling you about your soil chemistry? Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't know what to plant and when and where. Correct. Yeah, they are not there. They are not there. You can only see them during an agricultural show. Or when the president is around. Yes, very smart, with a small stick, small patches of means, which have been overwatered and overfertilized mm -hmm. with the government money. Mm -hmm. But then we do not need it there. We need, we need that kind of crop in the fields. Correct. Yes. And again, I don't know. They have allowed, not all of them, but a few, or actually most producers of, of animal feed, substandard. And when they get this animal food, which is substandard, maize production goes low. And then they don't have money to take their children to school. You know, we need serious surgery. Yeah. Yes. A whole overhaul. Lee, I want to talk overhaul. more about that. And also want to talk about so many things that you've done. I mean, you have dined with, the, with queens and kings. You have ridden in the Concord. I don't even think, I think half the people watching this show don't know what the Concord is. The Concord tra travels at twice the speed of sound. Imagine that. So yes. from, from, let's say, from uh, New York to London is... Three and a half hours. Instead of eight hours. Three and a half hours. Good. Three and a half hours. And you did that? Yes, four times. I started from, from Bonn. I yeah. want to hear about uh, In Germany. I want to hear about D during that. The time of, uh, during the time of, uh, of Carter. Jimmy Carter? Yeah, uh, Jimmy Carter. By the way, he's turning 100 next month. Yes, yes. He's turning he, 100. Uh, Jimmy Carter, Moi, mm. Obote, mm. Uh, Kaunda, they used to, uh, and Robert Mugabe. They used to call each other 1924 boys. Because <laughs> they were all born in 24? 1924. Good Lord. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes, a few years ago, we went to see him in Atlanta. In Atlanta, Jimmy, yes. Jimmy Carter Center. Yes, at the Carter yes, Center. Yes, we saw Jimmy Carter and uh, Andrew Young. Wow. This man is a walking, talking encyclopedia of history, folks. Mm -hmm. Lean Jiru. And 